Okay. I'm going to just do a first look. So that just means haven't tried it before, haven't used it. This is a first look. So I'm going to be putting on um, all of the makeup uh, that I have from them, which is a full, full face. So anyhow, let's just get started. So this isn't the official review. This is just a first look. So you can kind of see me applying it for the first time and trying it for the first time. But I'm going to, um, they have this little tiny primer. So I, I bought basically the complexion kit and the eye set and then some other things to balance it out. Um, they did send a few samples, which, you know, it, it's interesting because I guess I could have bought this beforehand, but I didn't. I felt like their skin matching online was pretty good. So I just went for it and it, it you know, I tried it just to see a little bit and it was like, okay. So, <laughs> so I'm glad that they have sent this. So I'm gonna be able to try this out and this. Uh, the colors that are on here are not the color, is not the color that came in the complexion set. So um, anyhow, let's just get started. So this is their primer. It says shake really well. It's super tiny. So I'm assuming I would just have to use less or get more. <laughs> so I'm not sure <laughs> what this means, but I'm just going to put like a small amount. It's just a little dropper bottle here. And we'll go ahead and put it on. Now I already um, showered and put on oxy serum. So one of the things about oxy serum is like as my lotion is that oxy serum shouldn't doesn't really play nice with synthetics. So I the way I know that it will be a problem is if I get tiny little zits like later on today. So um, I didn't check the ingredients in here, but a lot of primers have dimethicone in them because it helps to smooth out your face. So anyhow, we'll just see about that. <laughs> I have something that will allow us not to ever lie on that one. Um, okay, so this is the concealer. So I'm just going to use this on under my eyes here. And I'm just going to kind of tap a few discolorations. I have like a few spots that um, are discolorations. And I don't know. I mean, I don't typically go this crazy when I'm doing my makeup. I can see them here, though, pretty well. So go Zoom. <laughs> Gotta love Zoom. And I like that Zoom does have the um, skin smoothing, like it will actually smooth your skin. My lighting is really wet good right now. So the lighting is going to help it not be, um, like you're not seeing all my wrinkles and stuff, but I don't have any of the filters on from Zoom. Okay, so you can use your fingers. I usually, you know, we were taught to use the ring finger because it doesn't have as much pressure, or you can use one of these little sponges. I'm gonna kind of pull some of that. And again, I have a very pink face that I don't like that's pink because like it's not, um, I don't know. I don't think anybody wants to look like they're burnt. <laughs> my, my skin is pretty red. I have a very, um, very, very like red, rudy undertone. So I like my makeup to be warmer. I wear warm too uh, with Savvy. And what's great about Warm too with Savvy, which again, it's going out, so you can't get it anymore. Uh, it's out, they're not, they're not selling it anymore. Um, what's great about the Savvy Minerals Warm 2 was that it worked so well for a lot of different people's um, complexions. So this is, and I did bring my glasses this time, I can never read makeup label bottles. They're just too small. So this is their True Skin Serum Foundation. Um, it has B vitamins in it. That's what niacinamide is. Um, shake before use. And the color, like anyone can read that, even with glasses on. Uh, tuva, tuvarlia? I don't know. It says 2E2 on the bottom. I don't know. I'll have to look and double check that for you guys because, honestly, <laughs> make them simple, people. Okay, so I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna use the little guy here. I'm just gonna put some on there. And again, it, it's a little bit um, warmer than my skin, which is fine. So that's good. And I do have like, when I, when I take the red out, like when I push on it and see the actual color of my skin, that's, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to match. <laughs> the not so bloody part. Um, and that's, I think, beneficial because 
that will actually match your skin mostly. So if you tend to have really rooty complexion, just push on it so that the blood goes away <laughs> and then see what the actual color of your skin is. So, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to put this makeup on this morning. It's still morning here in California. Some of you guys are like morning. It's like late afternoon for you. Uh, and we're going to test it all day, well, most of the day. And I'm going to go to lunch with Tim and do some work, you know, do some stuff today. And then at 4.30, I'm going to see how it reacted today, how it wore, how Tim liked it. Uh, do some research. I've already researched this brand a little bit, but to really kind of research all the things that I'm using here. And I'm going to then give you a report on this brand. So we're, we have, I've tried most of the brands so far. I don't have a full set on some of them. So that's why you haven't heard from me because the colors were wrong. I'm waiting. Finally got um, Thrive back. So we're going to do that tomorrow. And uh, you know, I've got crunchy still coming. I still have, you know, some that, you know, beauty counter still coming. <laughs> so a few things still coming in the mail. So that's an important thing. So already I feel like this looks good, but here's one of my, one of my things It's timing. I don't really have time to use this. And I'll say Ilya does not have a powder foundation that I saw. I just, you know, I want it to be simple. I want it to feel like fresh on my skin. It doesn't feel um, like anything is wrong yet. Like I don't feel like there's a bunch of stuff in this. This one, meaning like uh, plastics. This, this does come with that kind of diamond dust powder. I already pulled the thing off because I didn't want to have to deal with that mess. But I just have a little bit in the cap. They have the little dividing line thing. I, I feel like this is helpful sometimes, but also can cause too much shine. As much as it's supposed to be like a setting powder, this also has an aroma to it. This, I don't know what this, what this is that they feel the need to put something in it, but I can smell it. <laughs> it's not problematic yet, but we'll, we'll just see today. So um, I don't know if it's a synthetic fragrance, but I will look on their website and it came with this nice little brush. So um, it feels, the brush feels good. So we'll see, I didn't, didn't put that much on. It's just a light dusting. Okay, so I sort of messed up already because I forget they have this cream blush. So let's do that. <laughs> so this is their little, it's like, I think you can use it for your lips as well. So I made the mistake on one of the brands where I put this on this side. I'm learning to kind of use this more effectively. I'm going to put it on this side. Uh, one of you guys said use the little sponge to apply the blush as opposed to your fingers. So we're going to do that here. And I'm only going to use the back end that I don't typically use on my face. On my face. <laughs> What's that from? Who can guess? <laughs> I don't want bacon grease on my face. <laughs> that was the funniest part of that whole movie. Okay. So anyhow, um, so just putting a little on. This color is pretty good so far. And this color is, oh, upside down, Ladybird. Ladybird. And you can also do this on your lips if you want, Taya. I don't, I, I mean, that looks pretty good. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Like putting blush on and then putting it on your lips. I feel like there's a lot of potential for bacteria. I don't know. So anyhow, um, I guess I could, I could do this a little bit just to kind of lightly dust. I don't know. Okay, then let's try the eyes here. And so I did get the eye set. And the eye set came with these two little liquid makeup, eye makeups, uh, an eyeliner and a, and a mascara. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad because I do like the liquid eye shadow. So that's an interesting thing for me that I feel, and I'm going to turn this one on to be able to see myself a little bit better. So let, let me stick this on and see how we do. <laughs> so, okay. So I, again, I'm gonna put the lighter color on the inside. It almost feels like a slightly darker concealer. So I don't know, this is, maybe I need to like read the full on instructions, but let's go ahead and, I, I always use my finger for my eyes. I don't know that that's correct, but this is what we're doing. 
So there's no highlighter here. So that's a problem for me because I need to have, my skin is so light that I need to have a highlighter. So let me turn this off. So right now it's darker on the inside and that's kind of a no-go for me. I need to have it lighter. So I would have to check to see other colors they have and all of that. And then this is a pink. That's way pink. I'm again, because my skin tone is very pink already. I steer clear of pink eyeshadows, like for real, because then I just look like, uh, I don't know, Dawn of the Dead or something like that. I look like I have these bloodshot eyes. So this might look good on a, on a warmer, like a much tanner complexion. Let me see what you guys think. So already it's a little too much, but some of you like a lot, a lot more eyeshadow than normal. And that's okay. And what I'm going to do, just because I have it here and I don't have a brush on here, I have this brush over here. Make sure there's no other stuff in it. So I'm wiping it off on a microfiber cloth. I'm gonna use their like dust, that white dust. And again, because this is gonna go on really white, it'll come off, but this is gonna create highlight. So let's see how we do here. And the nice thing about setting powder dust is it won't cause too many problems because it's not gonna like stick on you. But again, that's a little bit too like warm for me, but I don't know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what Tim says. <laughs> the verdict is still out because when Tim uh, sees it, he's always like, what's wrong with that color? Okay, so this is this kind of brush. So those are always pretty good because you can get like really fine lines. The problem is again, because we all have personal preference on how we like to do our makeup, eyeliner for me is usually something I don't want it to be a stark line. Now it's really popular right now to have that like stark line and then out kind of like fun line. So this is gonna do that really well for those of you who love that because it's not a, it's like a, it's not a bristle brush. This is like a foam, like uh, kind of stiff with a little bit of flexible tip. So as far as these eyeliners go, this is actually pretty good. But this 48 year old, almost 49 year old, it, I have too much, too many wrinkles in my eyes to pull this off. So what I'm gonna do is take that eyeliner that's still slightly damp, and use this brush to kind of um, blend it out a little bit so that it's not such a stark line. And if, you, if you're older, that's gonna be better for you. So if you are older, don't do a harsh line mascara or eyeliner. Okay, so. So you can see I blended it a little bit. It's not as blendable as some of the other liquids, but that's okay. And if I had, if I had, um, what do I wanna say? If I had, I'll get a little closer here. If I had done this right when it was drying, it would have been a little easier. It's definitely much softer than it was when I put it on. Okay. I'm gonna need to blend this in a little bit more and get that dust on there too. You can see it flying off the sides. And again, because I'm such a fair complexion. And also, you know what I'm gonna try? Because I do this sometimes with this kind of eyeliner is I'll put it like right underneath. Just like a tiny bit. I already have fairly dark under eyes but this definitely changes the look of my eyes when I do this. So we'll see how this wears today. That's the point is like, if I can see if this wears well or if it wipes off, cause my eyes tend to tear up. So by the end of the day, this under stuff will be gone. Let's just see, <laughs> let's see how it does. Okay, and then the mascara here. Um, so for those of you who want to see the brush, that's what it looks like. It will focus. Anyhow, 
and I'll go ahead and put this on and see how this wears. So I haven't worn any of this makeup yet. The only thing I've done was just to double check that the color was okay enough. <laughs> Some of the other ones I got the tester or not the tester, but I got the actual product and it was so off that I couldn't even share with you guys because that would look ridiculous. I put one on the other day and Tim was like, who are you? That's not even like, not even close. Like I know. So we'll see. So that's, you know, always the frustrating part, but I think you guys have been, um, good sports on all this trying to kind of like oh brother look what I just did how many of you guys do that where you like get it too close <laughs> and now there's black all under my eye all right this left eye is not going on as well maybe I need more product let me turn on the light here I just totally got it anytime I get mascara on my under eyelid I'm always like oh great I have to start over because it's going to like bug me all day but Let's just see how we do here. Okay, so we did get some underneath there. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna need to put some extra makeup on because I just wiped it all off. <laughs> all right. So again, this isn't so bad so far. I'm gonna show you my eyes up close so you can kind of see. And again, part of this is how is it wearing? And you know, the amount of time, I don't, I don't know. I think maybe as I'm getting older, I, I do need to add this amount of makeup to my face, but maybe not. I, you know, I hear double sides from people like, okay, as you get older, you wear less makeup. Um, as you get older, you might need more or a different kind of makeup. See, already I can see that it's like kind of caking into my crease lines there, which I'm not a fan of, <laughs> but that's okay. I think that every makeup company does that. I don't, I don't know how possible it is for us to have like a perfectly flawless face, right? We try. <laughs> All right, so let me take that light off. And I'm gonna dust this again because of my eyes. So the concealer is a little yellow. So just, just so you know, it's I probably would try a different concealer color. And then let's do their lip gloss. So I have here the lips, the lip color is Only You. Remember that song from the 90s? I think it was the 90s. I'm not gonna sing it, <laughs> only you. It's a Christian song, like a campfire song. Okay, so here's my eyes. Hopefully it will focus for you because I can't see if it is or not. You could probably see a little, like in my, in my when I do my eyes, like I'm like, they have to be perfect. And that's like not perfect. So that's gonna drive me a little crazy today. I might have to fix that later. But because that was li liquid eyeliner, that's gonna stay. Um. This color pink, maybe it's a bit too grandma. Does that make sense? Like, like I don't know. I, pink is fine, but when it's like too pink, I know saying grandma is kind of rude. I don't mean that. I mean, it's like, I saw a grandma the other day and I'm like, oh, she's so cute because she had these little like rose flowers on her sh tennis shoe, tennis sneaker, sneakers, tennis shoes. What do you guys call them? This is the eyeshadow. Not really supposed to do that but this was a little more orange and that brought it down so we'll see i don't know if they have an eyeliner a, a, a pencil eyeliner if they did i've used this kind of eyeliner um i use an organic liquid eyeliner from what's it called uh physician's formula because it, it stays and I can blend it. It goes on wet and then it's, it stays and it doesn't move and it's organic. Um, but I, you know, this one has been, you know, for me, I feel like that looks okay. And if I got it on a little bit quicker, like if I got it on and then blended it right away, the right eye and then blended it right away, that would be a better, um, maybe a better fix. 
So, let's see if I can pull my hair out without pulling my hair out. Okay. All right. So there you go. It's pretty good. What do you guys think? I'll back up so you can see the full light. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to do the full, my full thoughts on it, how it wore today. I'm just going to leave it. Uh, I might need to put like an extra coat of mascara on. Let me see in the in the photo here, in the photo in the mirror. Uh, you know, mascara is a troublesome thing for me. You guys know this. We've talked about this. I got to be real careful because it, it could ruin my day. Like mascara ruins my day, legitimately ruins my day. And already I feel like this is clumping too much. So some mascaras do really well with a second coat and some not so much. So I think this one is one that you really shouldn't do a second coat, but see, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of like the orangey kind of eyeshadow pinky. I tend to stay with like the taupes. There's a kind of color palette that I do with my eyes and that feels too red. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what Tim says, but uh, it looks good so far. It feels okay, right? Uh, and hopefully uh, this is helpful to all of you. Thank you for donating. Some of you donated. We, do, we had about, um, got a couple extra donations in today. Uh, we've had about half of the makeup covered so far. So that's really helpful. Um, I didn't mind spending it because, you know, Tim was like, why are you spending so much on makeup? And I'm like, well, I'm trying to find a brand because <laughs> Savvy's out of business. So that to me is um, it's beneficial for me. Uh, but it's really been helpful because we're doing um, a couple extra brands. And um, even just today, I spent like an extra $125 on Root to get their mascara because they didn't send that. So, you know, just trying to, trying to do the things. So again, I, this is unbiased. I don't work for any of these companies. I'm just sharing my thoughts. This is a first look, and then we'll do another video uh, tonight at 4.30 live. You can join the actual Zoom tonight. It's a half an hour long, and uh, that, should, that should about do it. All right, this was Ilya. All right, take care, you guys. Bye.